Good morning, it's Anna. Um, it's bright and early here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 10 minutes to 7 a.m. I've been up since early, like 4 a.m. Um, I don't sleep well. It's the reason why I got up. Plus, I was thinking, you know, what am I going to pick out to bring to my buy it now sale tomorrow? Tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. Eastern time here on my channel, I will have a live buy it now sale. And these are the items that I've picked so far. I may have more. Um, but let me start showing them to you. Um, oh, quick note. Um, as of like very early this morning, I've reached 700 subscribers, which I'm so very uh, happy about that. I was going to say surprise. <laughs> um, yeah, it's last month I had done a video on, um, on, you know, the 500 subscriber giveaway. So I've gained like 200 in a month, which is pretty good. But yeah, let me get started here. Um, I just wanted to mention that. Thank you. Thank you for the new subscribers and the those of every and obviously those who have been here since the very beginning with me and throughout the time and I hope you guys will stick around I'll try to keep it um light and entertaining and offer you something that perhaps you might want um be that entertainment or jewelry you know all right well let me get started enough of that right um I was just happy when I saw that and then I looked back and saw what my video was and I was like it happened pretty quick I'll show these earrings first I have two pairs of earrings. I've showed them before. I have these faux coin and mother of pearl earrings. Pretty cool. These are, I really like these. But I don't know if I'd actually wear them, so I'm going to sell them. But they're loose sight. Um, they sound like glass. They're not. Um, they're, they're really cool. And they're not that heavy. If the glass beads and the uh, cubes. Really, really cool. So there's those. Obviously, they were right in front of you. Um, you can see them. I just wanted to show them first so I could reach back without knocking them over. I don't want to break the mother of pearl earrings. These are really nice, though. And I will, that's the back, and this is the front. Obviously, um, there you go. I need to wipe them off a little bit. Um, all right. And this is a little faux coin necklace. I'll give measurements and everything tomorrow. I will have everything prepared <clears throat> before the time of the sale. Um, that way I can give the details, the price, and whoever wants it can say want. That's how it goes. Um, want and the price. But it's nice. It's like a little bib necklace, kind of. And they're very light, but it's still a cool necklace. It's a, a faux coin necklace. It's weird, I've been noticing coins and I never have before. Like coin jewelry now. This is a brass torque. It's a very nice one. Um, fits nicely too. I've had it on. And um I believe it's a sliced blue agate. Uh, blue lace agate. But yeah, it's nice. I'll have that. Let me stick it on a torque. And I'll measure it and everything. This will basically fit any size neck. But in case you want to know the length, I'll have that tomorrow. Somebody did ask me about that and I gave them a price. If they happen to accept it, I won't have it tomorrow. But if they don't, and then, then I will. <clears throat> As what I asked for it. That's jade. And brass. I did fluoresce it and it doesn't appear to be uh, like filled. Yeah. All right, there's that little necklace. I think it's like a 16-inch round measure. It's more. This is a Monet, 1980s um, Monet. I have it doubled up. There's that. I slowed down on the Monet a little bit. I still have some. I need this. Well, I just found some fabulous Monet. I'm going to bring one to auction for you guys next week, and the other one I'm going to sell. I have one that has earrings and a necklace. And I have one of this earrings, necklace, and a pin, or brooch, whatever you want to call it. I think I'll bring the one with just the earrings and the necklace. But yeah, I'll offer that at auction if anybody's interested. It's a lovely set. They're both lovely. This is a little, very small, um, uh, amber necklace. 
All right, and then I have these little, this bracelet that broke, and I'm not going to try to fix it, but this is some nice, this is nice, I believe this is the Cognac, Cognac Amber, if I'm pronouncing it right, it's like Cognac, Cognac, however you pronounce it. Um, It's nice. I, I will have this to sell. <clears throat> I'm not going to try to fix it. This is a really cool, at least I think it is, Chico's necklace. Large, lovely statement necklace. I'm going to bring that tomorrow. It is Sunday, right? Yeah, it is. These, this is uh, sterling and rhinestones. Actually, crystals. That's crystal. Or maybe pink ice. Yeah, but that is cubic zirconia. It's pink. Um, I have some bracelets. This one I just bought. I'll bring this. It's really nice. It's a nice little bracelet. <clears throat> Rhinestones and some kind of plastic. I'm not really sure. But it's a nice bracelet. This Trafari necklace. They have offered that before. This is cool. And this is resin, I believe. This is Liz Claiborne. I fluoresced it in the last, uh, I mean, it looks like amber, but, uh, I don't know if, if, Ian, if Liz Claiborne used amber in her jewelry. I'm thinking this is resin, but it's cool. I have some figural brooches. This, that's in Liz Claiborne. This is an unnamed. He's cool. Monet Toucan. Pretty cute. <clears throat> Napier, lovely flower, rhinestones, and gold tone. Little enamel in the center. It's pretty. This is Aunt Klein Christmas. Just some brooches. Let me show you quickly. She's lovely. The lovely dancer. Another ballerina, but this time no thermoset. Then I have a set of six little pins I will sell, or seven, I forget how many are here. There's a snail, um, there's a, a snail and a butterfly, a heart, couple hearts, grapes, little lots of those. This is a Charming Charlie's, which, um, honestly, I was quite surprised. It's well made, and it's lovely, actually, really lovely necklace, glass pearls. It's quality made for Char Charm and Charlie's. I don't really know the brand, but I've heard they're like a level of Claire's jewelry or something. This definitely, if they have a high end, I think it's just Charming Charlie's, right? It's a C. Why can't you see that? Um, it's off focus and good God, my nails. Um, still have a splinter under there. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. But yeah, very nice uh, for Charm and Charlie's, I think. I have a lovely Coro that I'm going to offer at a buy it now price. I know I have a collector. I don't know if she'll be there tomorrow. Um, but it's a beautiful Coro. It's uh, 50s. I believe it's 1950s. There's no copyright. Um, and I think the signature is 1950s. But if you're a collector, here. <laughs> and if you know your Cora, there's the signature for you. There is no copyright. There's the design. They are pronged. And there's the back. It's made well. It's got movement. It's a nice necklace. Um, I have, uh, this is rock crystal and um and sterling findings it's a longer it's pearls as well fresh water it's nice i have it doubled up see see how it's pretty um and sterling findings there's a matching pair of earrings i think i offered this once before i figured i'd bring it back there's those this is sterling and freshwater pearls as well. And with abalone blocking gum, it kind of looks mosaic. And then the other side's mother pearl and a little lace piece. And these findings, a pair of sterling as well. I will bring this. 
Let me hang it on here for you. It's lovely. Tempted to keep it, but I don't know if I'll ever wear it. And I, I don't know. If nobody wants it, I'll keep it. It's in Link's necklace, I think. And it's made, uh, it's made fairly well. I like the combination. I think it looks pretty. And it's reversible. All right, my necklaces. Um, I have more. There may be more than this, too, in case I'll have extras laying around, <laughs> just in case we need them. This is a costume. Um, it's all costume. This one has some fading on the back, as you can see, and I don't usually like to sell that. But I don't really s I don't see any fading in the front. Let me look at it closer. No, it looks pretty good in the front. I'll see if there's any interest in this. I think it's a cool necklace. It's encrusted with uh, levers or rhinestones, but it's cool. It's a Run DMC necklace. <laughs> Joke. It kind of reminds me of that. I don't know why. This is an unnamed, I believe. Yeah, but I thought it was nice too. And it's got it's got glass faux pearls and it has good weight to it. These are glass rhinestones. I thought it was a pretty necklace. I picked it up. I like this one. This is Premier Design. This is very nice. Um, I'm not going to be able to hang it up. I will show you. Um, I'll double it up and hang it up. It's very long. It still won't work. I need the long neck. Let me bring the big long one. Oh, I can't. It's so huge. I need to set my desk up different. I need my camera up above. I need to work on getting a tripod that can come up on the ground and bring my phone down or start using my laptop. I, I gotta work on that. Maybe buy a new laptop with more memory. But there, it's a big, long necklace. I will hang it on here um, the best that I can. I'll show it to you just real quick. I will be able to present it to you tomorrow. I'll use the big neck and lift up my camera if I have to. It's nice. It's a primary design. It's a nice one. It's got a good weight to it. The chain, it's all in great shape. And um, it's a nice premier design. Nothing's missing. It's and it's feels substantial for that jewelry maker. Um, this is a another Chico's a lariat and crystals lariat style. Let's see. A lot of necklaces here. Um, I have more pins too. Like, let me show these. JJ Light Tire. This is a nice one. It's Christmas, obviously. Can't really tell you that right. I think that's it. I have a Lily and Klein necklace. I thought it was a. Uh, that's glass. It's like a mesh type of um, chain. This is a shorter necklace. I love the shorter necklace. This looks probably like 16 inches. It's a good length, I think. I, um, sorry. I have this set too. I thought it was pretty, the glass. Um, it's glass and I call that foil glass. When it's a dichroic yeah. glass, I don't know why do I call it foil glass. I don't know, but whatever. I make my own words up. Um, <laughs> it does look like foil glass. I think that's what it's called. In glass beads, it's a bracelet and necklace set. I will measure it. I love these earrings. I think these are fabulous. These are metal, and they're not. They're clips, so it doesn't matter their weight. But they're not extremely heavy anyways. I mean, they do have some weight to them. But they're not heavy until we falling off your ears. And they're nice. I showed these the other day. They have the rings with rhinestones. Rundells, I believe they call those. And these are clustered. These remind me of multi-crystal ball earrings. And, and they're really, they're nice. They're nice earrings. And I thought these ones were lovely too. I'm not going to hang them up. I'll just show them. Because they're a pair of earrings. These are purple. Their costume, um, I didn't test the stone to see if they were anything. They look plated on the back. They, 
I don't know. I don't even know how to determine how old these ones are, to be honest. Um, they're probably not that old, though. I can't, you know, tell everything. I don't know all the tricks <laughs> to be able to date things. But these are nice. And I'll offer those tomorrow. These ones as well. Really cool. There's two of them, of course. Let me show you one. Nice, nice earrings. They have the Japaning type look on them. I don't know why that's on there. And these are kind of heavy, but they are clips. They're nice earrings. I'll bring those and offer them. I have a Brayton bracelet I'm going to offer. It's a nice one. All Brayton's pretty nice. Um, my son, it's kinked. Hold on a minute. I was at the class. Oh, that's got a little kink here for like the thing's twisted or something. I have to get that out. Um, it's not like you know how that is. It it'll come out. I just have to play with it. Um, there's the B heart. It's a nice bracelet. I, I'll get that little kink out. I want to play with it too long. This is a no name with a lovely chain on it. Long, lovely. Looks like a nineteen. 80s piece. Feels like loose sight. I, I'm not real clear on loose sight either at this point. I mean, I'm getting there, but not really. You can see the top of my head. I would, I just seriously just crawled out of bed. You want to see what I look like? Um, <laughs> this is a leather brace. It's called Fun You or something. I'd have to look at the name of it again. Fun something. But it's leather. It's red. And I thought it was cool. All right, I'll tell you tomorrow if anyone's interested. This is imitation. This is uh, not, what would that be, Yerman? I don't even know. I'm not solid on his jewelry either. But these pieces are plastic, um, but it's not a bad bracelet. If it doesn't, if so, here it'll sell with the uh, other one. <laughs> I'll sell it somewhere. Um, oops, stone. This is stone. I don't... I'll test it to make sure. I think I did throw it through the thing. It looks like Laramore to me. These are MMA, Muse Metropolitan Museum of Art. And they need cleaned. I'll dip, throw them in a dipper. Um, I did get some cleaner, silver cleaner, and this is something I could throw in there. Um, <laughs> there's the price tag. These are vintage. Um, they're, they're from like 1980s. I have to look. Uh, I'll read the insert and so forth so I can give more details on them and I'll clean them if I can. This is crystals. I don't think it's Swarovski. Um, there's no tag on it. I don't know what it is, but I figured I'd offer it tomorrow. See if anybody's interested. I don't see a marking in this. Just for some reason brings Ann Taylor to mind. I swear I remember this from years ago. Like this... I could be wrong. could be somebody else. I've never been much of, um, really. I used to buy her clothes, actually, at New York and Company some when I used to need them. But I think these are the stones that you um, dip into, you know, dress clothes for a dressy job. Um, that you can dip into scents and they keep the smell. But there's a, this is nice. It's got crystal pieces. Um, it's a nice bracelet. And I didn't test it for content. I guess I'll do that before I try selling it to you, so you know. Um, I'll make sure if I don't think that's silver though, but it's 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 pretty cool. It doesn't look like silver. Nice little toggle. It's a nice bracelet, and I think it is one of the ones that hold that you dip in a scent. Scent. I forget what they call that. Pretty scent bracelet. These are nice. Really cool earrings. Those are glass rhinestones, and these look like brass to me. At least a brass finish. They're a nice feel, a nice quality feel to them. Um, they're not real, like, don't feel too chintzy. I mean, they're costume, apparently. I don't know. But they're nice ones. I think they're nice. Now, this here, we got Baroque pearls on the bottom. There's a glazing put over 
all of it. And these, I'm pretty, I mean, these are pearl stone hair, Baruch, but up here, class faux, I believe. Um, the ones in the, I don't know, whatever, it's costume. Um, obviously, it's, it's, it's pearls, part Baruch and part not, okay? These just don't look like real pearls to me, but they put a glaze over them. It's a nice necklace, so I'll offer it to you if anybody's interested. Last thing, you hear that over there is my cat digging at fur fur. She's in a box. She likes to play in boxes. I gave her one to put her, she crawls into it and like lays in it. I be careful with the Amazon boxes, though. I was reading an article on that. Um, and they were saying that there's rat like poisoning in some of them because they have rats in the warehouse. But, um, yeah, this one seems okay. It's, I mean, that could be any box, I guess. But anyway, she's, she's been fine. It's the same box. I don't leave them lay around, though, but that one. I have, this is lovely. This is a no name. We have these crystals, um, and other glass. <laughs> okay, I don't know. It's just glassy, tubular, like, looking ones. And then these, and this is nice. It's a no name. Um, it's a long, long necklace, and I thought it was very nice. So I added it into what I'm gonna offer tomorrow. That is what I've picked out so far. There may be more. <sighs> um, yeah, I, I gotta make up a list, I guess. Barb will probably help me tomorrow. I'm gonna see if she's able to. Um, if not, I'll be on my own. You know how I am. <laughs> yeah, I, I do okay. Um, sometimes I feel like I get a little bit, like, mixed up in, like, in the, but I, when I do do it, I would, like, want in a price, and I'll keep reminding that tomorrow. I will use my sand timer, um, to time myself, so I give some time in between each piece. But I'm hoping I'll see you guys tomorrow, um, 8 p.m. Eastern time here on my channel for my live buy it now so. And if there's anything in particular, not out of this, but you've seen previously, you can make a mention to me. And if it's something that I can bring to the, uh, buy it now, I will. It's easier than me pulling out of the box at the time, but I can do some of that. I've separated auction from buy it now at this point. So then when I pull out the, not, you know, I say box, things are in boxes. It's like a container and they're individually wrapped. It's not, and I make sure I'm not laying something heavy on top of something fragile, you know what I mean? But I have limited space, and um, I have to organize myself somehow. So when I'm saying I, let me pull my box out, it's either a jewelry box with brooches or earrings in it, which I'm going to be separating those as well uh, once I get shelving behind myself. it's I'm working on, I'm going to move my desk forward and put shelves behind me so I can have jewelry boxes. I'm going to separate the good earrings um that are up for sale, um, you know, and, and brooches have those in separate containers behind me. Um, and the necklace is hung up as I already have, but yeah, I've got to get this shelving a little bit better behind me because I'm right now I have things on the floor. I have to bend over, pick it up. And I have one shelf, a shelf with, I used to sell other goods. I mean, and I still do periodically. I do have some things to sell, but I don't like shipping them, to be quite honest with you. And um, I've moved away from that. But, okay. So, tomorrow is my live buy it now sale. Where I offer a variety of items of what I just showed you and maybe some other ones. Um, and then on Thursday, I will have a thrifty Thursday. It'll be a pre-recorded video, I decided. And I'll be offering a large variety of jewelry there as well. It'll be $5 and under. That's my goal there for thrifty Thursdays. Um, you know, trying to offer things at thrift store prices. But yeah, tomorrow is the live buy it now. Next Monday will be my auction and Thelma will be back. So we always have a good time. Um, all right, that's it. I'm going to go. I'm almost ready, like, ready to go crash back out because I'm exhausted. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't sleep. Probably because I knew I have not selected my jewelry yet. And that is what I picked out. And there could be more. Um, I really didn't add any sterling in here. Here I am blabbering. I, I do this. I didn't pick any sterling out yet, per se. I could go through my box. I mean, I do buy sterling to sell, but I'm more... I like the vintage costume. 
And also modern, if you can see, I have the Chico's hair I really love. Um, some of this is cost vintage and some is not. And that's just the way it is because I pick up what I like <laughs> when I see it. You know, I think that's what most people do. Like, if I like it, I buy it, and then I fear maybe somebody else will like it. But I'm going to go through and make sure I have a decent uh, amount of items of each type. Um, to offer and it looks like I have a lot of necklaces and brooches. I may need to go find some more bracelets and earrings to bring. I'll do that. Um, all right, I'm going to go. I will talk to you ladies and gentlemen tomorrow. I will not be back on. I may see you in auctions if I linger through there. If I have time, it's difficult sometimes to find time. Um, my daughter comes back today. And I still have one room to clean. Um, <laughs> I clean before she comes home. So my, I get two days a month. It's it cleans well. And then in between. But yeah, I, I get everything ready before she comes home. It's like in, in a, every other week I have. Or over two weeks a month. Because her father has her partial custody. So it's always an event to get ready. Get food. I have to go shopping and all that. You know, for Eva's return. Alright. I am going to go now. Thank you. No special questions or anything in this video. <laughs> I'm going, one more thing. I'm going to be going to look for another large lot because um, I'm going to wait until I like do craft lots or sell some in Thrifty Thursdays. I try to only pick out nice items to do for that is what I will be doing things I think people will like. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm, I'll be looking for another large lot. Um soon it comes addictive guys i can see how people like keep it whirling in and oh, it just i already have an overwhelming amount and i i don't have even a portion of what some people have and i feel overwhelmed sometimes with the little what i do have like the craft if anybody likes craft lots you know i sent a young lady and i'm hoping to hear from you soon that if you like that lot and it worked for you um, I sent her a nice one. She needed it to make. She was doing a family event over the weekend making brooches um, or something like that. They were making picture frames or something. Can't remember what she said. But I sent her some. Made sure I sent some nice uh, broken brooches and so forth I have. I had. I mean, they were nice earrings and brooches. And I hope it worked out for you. I'm waiting to hear back from her. She was supposed to send me some pictures. Um, but anyways, I will do craft lots. Um, and I'm going to do jewelry jars again sometime in December. I'm going to mix them up a little bit better and probably put a little bit of sterling in there like I did the first time. Well, if you ordered from me, I know the one lady, I, I, um, I think both of them, I may have thrown something extra in there. I don't know, but yeah, I didn't sell two of my jars from the first, from the last one that I did. Um, I guess they weren't, you know, they the three, four, and five, P, uh, it, I got a number of inquiries on those two, but the first two I hadn't. So if you're looking for a jewelry jar, I still have to. I could throw sterling in it. <laughs> a little pair of earrings or something. I don't want to do another pair, another video now. Oh, I have more jewelry jars with sterling. I don't want to do that. I'm trying not to just do sales on my channel. I'm trying to make it, you know, I, I enjoy... The jewelry hauls and showing it and and it does i enjoy it and i know other people do as well so i don't want every video that i bring out to be hey i'm selling something to you i'm attempting to not only do that i mean it is a business i'm trying to build a business um but i enjoy the inter interaction that i get on here besides selling um and i like showing what i get I, it's, it's fun for me. All right. I think I need to go to sleep. It's been half an hour in a preview video. And you know, Anna has a hard time saying goodbye. <laughs> I really do. It's, it's a fam family thing. We always do. I'd be on my sister's porch for 10 minutes saying goodbye. Um, when I was leaving on our visits, but, um, I am going to go now. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't know how many times I start saying goodbye. Probably three. But okay. For real, see you tomorrow at 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Time here on my channel for my live buy it now. It will be somewhat fun.
and I will try to, maybe I'll go pull some more exciting items out. I'm going to look. All right. Thank you. Goodbye.